Good morning guys, it is Monday and I am off to drop off my car at the local train station, I think, because someone has come down to buy it. I say I think because who knows, they might then not want it, but I think it's all happening. Today might be the day that I sell my Mini finally. I can shut the door on the whole car journey and I can replenish my savings which I desperately need to do. It's a good start to the day. I mean, it's, it's nearly 12. It's not the start of the day, but it's the start of the vlog. Yeah, Keegan's gonna come with me because he'll, he'll like drive separately there and then he can drive me back because obviously the plan is to leave my Mini there. Um, but I also feel sad. I feel sad that I'm, like this is my first car, but I'm also like, it's a car and I need the money. <laughs> and it's just been sat on our road, just doing nothing. And so I'm like, I definitely need to sell it. So the sadness is less so now. But anyway, we need to go. It's so weird now driving this car, it does feel very, very different to my new car. I've gotten used to my new car so quickly. It's very strange. It looks like this car dealership, it's a dealership that's buying it from me, but a small one. And they've come all the way down from Newcastle this morning on the train. So that's why we're meeting them at the train station. And then obviously he's gonna drive the car back up north. So you're gonna go even further north, Mini. I got you in London, bought you in London, so you're a southern car. I think all minis are made in Oxford, that's where the mini factory is. So you're a southern car and you've just made your way further and further north. And then who knows who's going to buy you next? No. <laughs> you just told me not to film him having a C's candy. Um, all done. The car, we've said goodbye to the mini. That was, I can't believe it's gone. The money was transferred into my account. It felt like a drug deal. Me to get a train station and like just it's just very weird like transferring money all these sorts of things Not that I've ever done a drug deal, but this is what I imagine it's like and in my <laughs> And in my head I was like is this a scam and it wasn't a scam the money went straight into my account Sold my car for ten thousand nine hundred pounds, which is good I mean it's a bit less than what I wanted to but it's been sat there for ages, hasn't it? Like on the road and I'm just like, I need to sell it now. So yeah, I imagine he'll sell it on for like 12 and a half, maybe even 13 if he's done a few bits to it. So um, yeah, he'll make a nice profit, but whatever. It's great, I'm glad it's gone. And I've now got a little delivery from Legend London, which I'm excited for, which are basically sort of tailor-made jeans aimed at people who work out. So it sort of hugs your legs in all the right places. So let's see if they're actually any good. Remind me to show you the jeans. Why am I saying it as if you're here? <laughs> I was gonna say, remind me to show you the jeans later, but you can't because you're watching this after I filmed and edited it. Um, but I, a reminder to myself, I do wanna show you the jeans because they're really nice and they're really good. And it was one of those where I've seen them advertised a lot and I've gone, oh, is this just like an Instagram? You know when you get presented with things on Instagram and, and they're usually like really cheap stuff made in China and they like fall apart. And they're actually not. They're like really good. So I'm going to show you later. I'm very tired, guys. I've got the blanket on. I'm going to edit a video. I think because I've got a really busy day tomorrow and I'm out pretty much all day tomorrow, it's making me just want to curl up and, and like rest today. Uh, I always get like that when I have plans, but um, I can't, so... Hello Ava. I'm gonna do some work now, have lunch with Keegan, walk the dogs, and then I need to drive to a shopping place and buy a few last minute bits for my showreel scene tomorrow. So I'm filming my showreel scene and it's an outdoorsy type scene. It's set on like a hike. I actually need to buy sort of like a, an anorak because all the coats that I've got aren't hiking coats and I want it to look good. So costumes are a really important part. So I'm gonna go shopping and look for an outdoorsy like windbreaker type coat. But then other than that, I can have a chilled evening, but I've just checked in my phone and I've got a 9 a.m. call time tomorrow in Stoke-on-Trent and I have to leave at 6.30, 6.30. So Ava's in here with me um, and she's actually not been very well the last couple of days. She's been off her food, but she has just eaten her breakfast now at one o'clock. And yes, my background on my watches me uh <laughs> and then you can see him just outside can you just see him there he's uh sunbathing on the picnic table he absolutely loves the sun what a beautiful day so lovely it's bright sunny blue skies as you can see but it is a little bit chilly so i'm still in my muddy dog coat ava come on leave she loves rolling in fox poo every day. She does it and she stinks and she has to, I mean, she has a shower every single day because she gets muddy, um, but then I have to use shampoo because the, I can't get the fox poo smell out. <laughs> Ooh, 
Here's to the good days Here's to the sorrow This is a mistake I know about tomorrow Dog walk done, Ava bathed. Let me show you, I'm going shopping now for costumes for tomorrow and this is what I have so far. So I've got a variation of outdoorsy tops. I've got a couple of North Face hoodies. Oh, you can't really see, but basically I'm gonna take lots of different options, a couple of backpacks. The person who's doing the scene for me, like the director, the writer, he's basically a one-man band. He's an amazing like filmmaker and he said, bring as many options as possible, like bring a suitcase if you have to. Um, he was like, there's no such thing as too many options. We'll obviously have a rehearsal at his house at 9 a.m. tomorrow with the actress who's gonna be in my scene with me, my friend Gemma, and then we'll decide on costumes. Here we are, guys. So, I'm gonna head to TK Maxx first. I think, to be honest, TK Maxx is the only shop here that might have what I need. Brackets and coats. I need, hmm, potentially nothing too puffy. Mm. Oh yeah, this is actually like an outdoorsy coat, but I think black is a bit boring. I was hoping for like a blue. The director of the scene has sent me stuff, um, like helpful tips, and he was like, blue looks really good on camera. Avoid black. So um, actually there's, it's a green one. Oh, this is all XL. Uh, potentially, yeah, that could look all right, couldn't it? Or they have this two-tone one, which I actually really like, but I don't know. The question is, I feel like I might need an outdoor backpack as well, because my backpacks don't look outdoorsy. <laughs> um, but I feel like I might never use it. Right, done. I will talk you through the, through the purchases when I get to the car. I also trapped myself to a Pepsi Max. A lovely day. I was just thinking, should I go and look around some of the other shops? But I'm not in the mood today. I just want to, as soon as I get home, I'm just going to get my PJs on and go on the sofa <laughs> and do some more line learning. I need to uh, prepare a video for tonight. But yeah, I just want to do it from the sofa. I want to chill. Pepsi Max, I will open that when I've stopped talking to you. Otherwise, I'll be burping all over the place. So I actually got both of those coats. I won't get them out to show you because I got both of the ones that I showed you, the, the lighter two-tone one and the green one. And then I also got that backpack. I think I showed you as well, that outdoorsy backpack, because you know what? I've spent, like these showroom scenes are expensive. They're, they're, a de they're definitely an investment into my future. I don't want to ruin the scene by it being like a hiking scene and I'm not wearing hiking clothes. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, I'll get it. That came to 160 quid, but I'm hoping I'll at least return one of the jackets, which I think they're 50 quid each or 60 quid each. Um, so yeah, I'll at least return one, but it might be that I don't use any of those, either of the coats or the bag, in which case I'll return it. But I bought it on my business because it's a business expense. So that's tax deductible, which is great. What's my mum doing today? I might give my mum a call on the way home. Just fancy having a chat. Do I Siri, hey Siri, do I hey, hey BMW? Oh no, it's Siri. Hey Siri, <laughs> I don't know. Hey Siri, call mum. Calling mum. Thank mobile. you. First call from my car as well, my new car. Guys, it's 10 to seven. It's still so bright outside. I am so tired. I've been sort of dozing while watching um, Stacey Dooley sleep over at people's houses. She's a presenter, if you don't know. And uh, yeah, she's been staying at people's houses who have maybe odd family setups, odd in the sense of not usual. Um, so I've watched one episode where she uh, went and stayed with a family vlogger family uh, called the Sacconi Jolies. She basically lived with them and they vlog their entire lives, their children, everything. So I guess to some people that's controversial. I was just like, oh, that's normal. <laughs> and now I'm watching one where she's staying with strict Orthodox Jews. Um, but they've got somewhere she stays with someone that's in a thruple. She stays with an eco-warrior family. So yeah, there's some really interesting ones. I'm watching the Orthodox Jewish one at the moment, which I find fascinating. So I, I find Orthodox Jews really fascinating. I think because they're quite a closed community and quite um, insular, you never really get an insight. And that's what Stacey was saying. She was like, it's amazing that I'm getting this insight into Orthodox Jewish families because we know a bit about you know, more modern Jews, I suppose, but less about Orthodox Jews, so I love it. Anyway, Keegan and I are, <sighs> our motivation for losing weight <laughs> before Florida 
comes and goes. Today, we've just been having a few little snacks. We've been started off healthy and then we've had a few snacks and now I've been put in charge of ordering takeaway tonight. So it's 10 to seven and Keegan has a work call at 7.30 till eight. I'm gonna order this to arrive for 8 p.m. So I've got another hour and 10 minutes until I can eat. Um, but yeah, we're just, we're gonna treat ourselves. Anyway, I'm feeling quite nervous, guys, about my day tomorrow. It's just like in the pit of my stomach, even though I know it will be fine, but I'm just like, yeah, I just feel nervous. Morning, guys. <laughs> it's 6.30. Wow, I need to do a vocal warm up. This is the first thing I've said today. It's time to shoot my showreel today, guys. I'm driving to Stoke-on-Trent. There's a beautiful sunrise ahead of me. I don't think I've seen a sunrise for, I don't know, I don't know in how long. I'm not an early morning person, so this is like hell to me. <laughs> Woken up a bit more now, guys. It's uh, 7.40, I'm about 50 minutes away. So I'm actually gonna be early. I'm gonna arrive at 8.30, but I need the loo, guys. Um, you don't need to know that. Four minutes away. Oh, I'm so nervous. I am excited as well, because I do love it. As soon as I'm there doing it, and I know because I've done two scenes before, not with these people, but I've, whenever I act, it's like I'm, I'm so nervous beforehand, and then when I'm doing it, I'm loving it, and it reminds me of why I love it. But the nerves are just, I've spent the last few years just living in my comfort zone, mainly. The, the years since sort of stopping acting and just focusing on YouTube, obviously YouTube is my comfort zone, and so now, and I used to be so good at pushing myself out of my comfort zone, I would be in a constant state of feeling nervous because I'd always be going to auditions and acting classes and this, that and the other. And because I don't do that anymore, I'm out of practice and now it feels really scared, like it feels like, ah, I want to run away. Um, whereas in the past I used to feel nervous and go, cool, yeah, I can do this. Um, but yeah, hopefully that will start changing. Well guys, as you can see, I've had an outfit change because we've had a rehearsal. We've had about 45 minutes, no. Oh, we've had about an hour's rehearsal, an hour and a half. Um, at the director's house that I don't know what to call Chris his name's Chris Stone he's an amazing filmmaker writer whatever like it's him and his partner that like write the scenes shoot the scenes and everything and he's, he's directing the scenes as well and it, it's just been so good so me and Gemma have just been rehearsing in his living room uh, and chosen our costumes I bought loads of different options so we've sort of gone through the different options and we're just pulling up now in pine tree walk so we're gonna be doing this on location in the forest i hope not many people are around i hope we don't bump into dog walkers and then there's going to be a scene of us like ah you cheated on me <laughs> uh, anyway i'm excited i'm rewarding myself with a drive through guys oh back window i didn't use stuff then hi could i get a medium americano with oat milk please yeah um and do you have any mini egg cookies left no, we don't, right? Okay, what about the iced Easter egg shortcake biscuit? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can I get the egg one or the bunny one? Okay, I'll get the bunny one instead, actually. Thank you. Shall I do a dine and dash? <laughs> Imagine speeding away. Oh, Perfect. Cheers. Thanks very much. Nice Thank you, you too. Bye. I just want to read this email. I've had uh, an important email because I've not been on my phone all day. So I also, oh, she's gone in the space I wanted to go into into one of these so I can legally look at my phone. Got a little bunny. I'm gonna eat that. Right, I've read my email. I need to reply to that when I get home. I have a meeting at 4.30 with my manager, who I told you guys, I stopped working with maybe this week. I've got less than a week left with them, but they've been so good in helping me find a new manager and Basically, I'm having a call with her, Kat. Maybe Meg will be there too, I'm not sure. But have a chat with her about the meetings I've had and to discuss who she thinks, as my current manager, or soon to be ex-manager, who she thinks I should have a chat with. Right, we're putting the car in sports mode, because uh, I feel like this car is slower than my Mini. It's the same size engine, but it is a bigger car. So maybe it's just a bit slow. So. I can get her opinion on which manager 
sounds like the right fit for me. I think I know which one, but yeah, we'll see. The Cheryl filming went really well. It was quite a long day. We finished filming at about one, I think. Maybe one thirty. Not sure. I think it was one. The proof is in the pudding, isn't it? I mean, I really enjoyed it. It was a fun experience. I obviously love acting and I love working with Gemma and they were really fun to work with, Chris and his partner, Steph. But <clears throat> you never know until you see it back, do you? So I don't know how long until I'll get it back and you guys will see it, I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, exciting. As usual, I forgot to do an outro to this video. So thank you guys for watching. Um, <clears throat> oh, Ava, see, she just loves the camera. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post videos every single week if you haven't subscribed. And if you'd like bonus members only content, then consider becoming a channel member. You can just do it for a month. You don't have to commit to any sort of contract or anything like that. So if you would like to become a member and try it out and binge watch all of my members videos, then you can do that. Thank you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.